Hi there! Welcome to the Python 2 course. It's the continuation of Python 1, and I hope you will enjoy this course as much as the previous one. There are lots of challenges ahead of us, so let's open the Python app in the Creative Suite. Being efficient with elementary string operations is an absolute must for every computer programmer. Most information and data in everyday life is stored as text. So it makes sense that computer programs also use text, or strings, to represent data. In fact, computers mostly process text. In this video, we will look at basic string formatting and operations. Let's start by creating two variables, text1 and text2. Both of them store text strings. A text string is a group of characters enclosed in quotation marks, or quotes. The first string is wrapped in single quotes, the second one in double quotes. When we print these two variables, we see no difference. In most cases, you can choose to use either single or double quotes to enclose the text. Notice that the quotes which enclose the strings are not printed. We can also print the text string directly, without creating variables. A string can be empty or contain empty spaces. We will address a common problem with trailing spaces in the next video. Now, let's insert some non-alphabetic characters into a string. To do that, let's create a new variable, text3. Will it print the result of adding those numbers to each other? No, look, it prints the string as it is. Strings can contain not only letters and words, but also special characters and numbers. In fact, text strings do not have to be true statements. They can be complete nonsense. 1 plus 1 equals 3 is a valid string. In summary, a text string is enclosed by either single or double quotes. It can be stored in a variable or printed directly. It can be empty or include spaces. It can be composed of any characters, including letters, numbers, and special characters. A text string can say anything, even a statement which is not true. See you in the next video!